Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to Tissuepedia. So in this video, I will be sharing some important functions that can be applied on a dataset for cleaning purposes. So we will be focusing on data cleaning in this video. Let's get started. First of all, I am reading a CSV file and printing its first five rows. I'll run this cell and as you can see, this is a simple dataset in which we have got multiple columns like ID number, or just a number in which there is a mention of a value, then there's a name, then there's a own occupier. So it's a part of a, a property data. So I have just used a chunk of it just for just to show you how to clean this type of data. So as you can see in this data, there are many uh, null values like nan and uh, in this character string column or object column we have got a number in it so we have to remove it and then we have got another nan value and in this sq uh, feet column uh, we have got a dash dash value so we need to tackle these type of things in data cleaning for this data set so first of all we will check what are the number of null values in this specific columns so in this, as you can see, that uh, I have just printed a simple df square bracket and column name, and it print all the values, and then it print whether it's a null value or not. So in this raw number third, we have got a null value, that, so that's why it's true. Same goes for another column. So we just run it, and we can see that on row number five, row number six and we have got a null value so the first function which we are going to implement is drop now drop now is particularly used when we are dealing with null values and we have to drop those rows or columns which contain one or many null values so access zero is a parameter which determines that we are targeting by raw or and access one or determines that we are targeting by column wise so it's up to you how you want to tackle null values how is another parameter that determines if a raw or column is removed from data frame when we have at least one null value or all null values in that row or column so as you can see if i just run this we can see that there were null values in second oh sorry third row and fifth row so it removed that and it just print the other rows which doesn't contain those null values so that's how you can use drop now function moving on there are many values like n small cap small n slash a or na or dash like this one as you can see so we can also target that we are specifying that okay these are another objects or values that can be null so when we are reading that data, we can specify as it a, in a form of a list that, okay, treat these values as null as, as well. So if we again read CSV and read our data, then there's a, a parameter called any values and we can pass our list into it and it will make sure that it will treat that as a null value. So as you can see, the dash dash gone and it's now as treat as a null value so moving on so this function as is null is already been explored and now we can see we will see how to use and how to check for each column how many null values are there so in the first column there is one null value there is a second column we have got two then name doesn't contain any null value and for the other columns you can see what are the what are their total sum of their null values so that's how you can count the total number of null values in that specific columns so drop now function can be sometimes useful and sometimes it doesn't useful because if we are dealing with government data so we can't ignore or drop those null values if it if it contains any nan or inconsistent data so what we can do is that we can fill those null values with some numbers or object values or string column or string values so for that fill now is a function that can be used 
and you can see that I have filling this column stnum with a specified value. So as you can see that null value is filled with 125 in row number 7. The next thing which we are going to see is how to use median or mean and replace that null values with mean or median. So in the number of bedrooms we are replacing the NAN values with the median. We can also try our mean function as well but for this case we are using median values. So there is no null values in this column. We can also fill with zeros and we can also fill NAN values with a padding function that will make sure that it will fill the null values or zero values with the corresponding values of the next or previous rows. Like for example, there is a zero, so it pads 850 in that and fill this value with that value. If we go for B pad or B fill, so it will focus on the backward fill. If we focus, if we fill this with F fill, then it will fill those null values with a forward fill. So if it doesn't specify, so it will pad this thousand and replace this zero with thousand value. So these were the uh, some functions fill na and drop na that you can tackle with null values. Moving on, I am going to create a dictionary and create a data frame of three columns and there are some values in it so first function which we are going to use is that reset index and let's see how it works so if i run this reset index on this data frame so it will remove this ace and it will create another column for this value and replace that with a new indexes like 0 1 2 so now we can target okay df0 will give us the first row, df1 will give us the second row, df2 will give us a third row. We can also use drop function when we are when we are uh, resetting index. So it will remove those index ACE and it will replace that with 0, 1, 2. So there is none, so there is no other a new column added as we saw earlier. Moving on, uh, we are going to create a same thing but uh, using a drop now function I'm just showing you how it works and it's it basically remove all those rows which contains null values so in the result after applying drop now we don't have any null values in this data frame the second last function which we are uh, which I'm going to share with you is replace function that can be used to replace a value with a new or a new values so if I just use this and I want to replace this 444, uh, let me run this again. So first, so for, uh, earlier it was 1010 and then after replacing those values we have got 444, 444 by applying a replace function. You can also use a drop value to drop a specific column. So as you can see, I have created a data frame of four columns and by using a drop function, I can remove that column as well by specifying the, the column name. And axis one means targeted as a column wise and axis zero means targeted as a row wise. And if I use in place is equals to true, Will make sure that it will rewrite that data frame so it will replace that that data frame with a newer version as you can see there is no url column after applying in place is equal to true so that's it for today thank you